What's up guys, it's Accurate Frank P, back with episode 225 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But we'll kick it off now, 225. Starting us off today, we have Robert B. And what I like about this one right away is just how... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like sterile it is. Like it's super clean in terms of just the white everywhere. Like carpet, walls, no scuffs. And then you have just the massive pop of color with the mounted TV and the wallpaper on his monitor. So checking it out for his desk setup, going with the solo display. This is a 38 inch Ultra Gear monitor from LG. It's one of their newer gaming releases or it came out within the last year, so it's not like brand new or anything, but a nice 38 inch ultra wide and something about his glass desk with like the, the mirror edges to it and the clear chair, it seems very like futuristic. I don't know, there's something about it that I really, really like when looking at it. You don't really see a clear chair and a mirrored desk like this too much. But now checking out his peripherals, he has the Corsair Gaming K95 Platinum RGB keyboard with Logitech G903 Hero mouse on a Perix extended mouse pad. But underneath that is the Logitech PowerPlay wireless mouse pad for charging that G903 on the fly. And then for audio, his speakers are the Personas Aris E3.5 and his primary headphones are the Pioneer DJ HDJ2000 Mark II. I like how both the headphone stand and the speaker stands are coordinated to black and red kind of set that color theme throughout even though everything else is primarily white it really makes those two colors pop especially when you have an entire chair that is seemingly red as well and the ottoman now over to the pc this is kept underneath the desk and the case is the cooler master half x i've literally never heard of that but the cpu is you got amd ryzen 9 3950 x on gigabyte Aorus x570 extreme motherboard keeping the cpu cool is the noctua nhu 12 s it's the chromax version with the black fans and the accents he's got 32 gigs of Corsair Dominator Platinum special edition blackout RAM which also I had no idea existed and for his GPU he's got an RTX 2080 Ti founders edition with a GTX 1070 as the second there and right next to the setup, he has the massive 65 inch LG OLED 4K TV. The model is the E6 and I'm just really digging the way the entire room came together. All white and you have the black and the red accents to really make the setup stand out a bit more just to catch your eye a little bit. So I'm definitely digging it. Next is the return of X Sphincter. And I believe we had him on in 2017, I want to say. And this is a ridiculous, over-the-top, 100% steampunk setup. And it is really unique in the sense that pretty much everything here is custom or has a sort of DIY twist on it to really, you know, buy into the steampunk theme. Things from like the copper piping everywhere on the walls, the actual lining of all the monitors. It's really impressive once you take a deeper and closer look at all the, just the passion that went into this. So there's obviously a lot of gear. We're not going to go over all of it. Uh, his primary is a 55 inch curved Samsung TV with four 27 inch Viotech monitors on the outside. Then if you take a closer look on the left side, uh, there's actually two more monitors that are lined up with like this point of view of the camera. So you can't really see them. And those are two 21 inch monitors from Asus. So he's got seven total displays here looking nuts. I'll have everything for you listed down below in terms of his hardware and stuff. Again, I'm not going to list it all, but he's got a Logitech G710 keyboard, an ASIO retro keyboard, G602 mouse, uh, the Go XLR, the Elgato Stream Deck, Logitech Z533 speakers, AKG K72 headphones. Like I said, I can't read it all. We'll be here for an hour, uh, but that's the, the gist of his main peripherals. In powering everything, he has two different PCs, and as you'd expect, they are also going to be decked out in the steampunk theme so much attention to detail that went into really customizing and crafting this build and it looks crazy cool so this primary one here inside the ryzen 9 3950x cpu it's the actual thermal take core x9 case that's obviously modded a bit 32 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z Royal RAM on an ASRock X570 Aqua motherboard, an RTX 2080 Ti, all copper custom water cooling and stuff, the fittings, the, the gauges, gears inside. I just love seeing stuff like this. 
And he also has a secondary Mineforge PC, he calls it. I'll put the specs down below. Uh, but this one I assume is for like the streaming and stuff, while the other one is primarily for the gaming. So is this going to be everyone's cup of tea? No. But damn it, you have to appreciate it. This is seemingly like a converted garage, and it's just all steampunk. And I just love the knickknacks and just the, all the customizing that went into this. Very, very impressive. Now we've got Manny's Pixels, and I kind of like to play on it like many pixels, Manny's Pixels. So we're going to take a look at the dual setup here, ultra wide with an overhead, uh, the wallpaper with like the contour lines, pink, making them pop and stand out a bit, and a massive 80 inch butcher block for the desk. All right, so for the primary display, it is one of Samsung's 49 inch ultra wides. This is the HCG90 model with a 50 inch 4K TV from Samsung as well. And in terms of actual like cable management, everything as you can see is routed down on the bottom right side towards those Logitech, what was it, the G560 light sync speakers there. So he kind of has, you know, discreetly hidden behind those to kind of take away from the look of the cables. And peep that wall of the collector's Hot Wheels that are all mounted there. Now for his peripherals, going all wireless pretty much with the G915 keyboard and the G502 Lightspeed wireless mouse. You can also see the Elgato Stream Deck there. And also powering the G502 is the Logitech PowerPlay yet again. Got a Nintendo Switch in the background, some Pokemon Pop figures, and also a shelf off the left side with some other collectibles, a keyboard. Just a little space to, you know, show off some of the more pop culture side of things. And then we peep the PC. This is the Leon Lee Landcool 2 mesh case. Inside an Intel i9 9900K CPU with a water cooling kit from EKWB. Got 64 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM on Gigabyte Z390 Aorus Master Motherboard. And for the GPU, an RTX 2080 Founders Edition. And a cameo by Darth Maul. And then we close out this one with a wide shot of the room. Got some sofas in the back to kick back and watch some TV on that mounted overhead there. Maybe even some console gaming if you can dock the Switch, play it like that. Take a load off, Netflix and chill. So a pretty cool gaming room for sure. Next we have RBS, or as I like to say, Arby's. You want some roast beef sandwiches? I know I'm pretty hungry. And this setup comes way of the Philippines and he says this is also for gaming and for his job freelance photography. Always love a dual purpose setup that looks as nice as this one. You guys know I love me. Some overhead stacks. And you flip the lights off and then it just gets like an icy blue vibe to it. So his primary monitor on the bottom is a 29 inch ultra wide from LG with a 24 inch ASUS panel up top, which is 144 Hertz. So he really could use either one for gaming. You know, you're playing a game, you want the extra screen real estate, you use the ultra wide. You want the higher refresh rate, you're playing FPS games, go to the top monitor. And for his peripherals, a nice complimentary duo here with the black and white going along with the theme. I'm not too familiar here, but I know the company Rack is a like a, I, want, I don't want to say Philippines exclusive, but it's very common there. But for the keyboard, he wrote the R-A-K-I-I-L-I-S mechanical keyboard. So I don't know if he meant Rack, but just wrote Racky. And then the mouse is the Logitech G304 wireless. And then for audio, he has the Fantech HG11 Space Edition headset with the Creative SBS A120 speakers kind of tucked behind the ultra wide. So really not too effective there. Then over on the right side, you have a really nice looking PC. The case is actually the Rack Halaya M case. Again, sorry if I'm not pronouncing this properly. Uh, looks like one of Corsair's cases. We have a Ryzen 5 2600 CPU, 32 gigs of Avexor RAM on an Aorus B450M motherboard with a Zotac Amp GTX 1650 GPU. So RB coming in with a really nice looking setup. And one thing I want to point out is I think those are actually egg cartons mounted above the setup and then painted black and white to kind of act as, you know, soundproofing foam in a way. If that's what that is, got to give your props. Worked out nicely. And then last but not least, we have Brian F with the Cozy Battle Station. Now, I could have sworn we've had Brian F on before. This setup looks familiar. The name Brian F sounds familiar. I feel like every week we have a Brian F, but I went back and did a description search and we've never had a Brian F on this series. Am I going insane? Someone please validate this for me. 
So for the actual monitor setup here, going with the Tetra shape, we have a Dell 24 inch as the primary, and on the left side, mounted in the vertical orientation, is a Dell 27 inch. And this is all being powered by his Dell XPS 7590 15 inch laptop. It's got an i7 9750H CPU, 32 gigs of RAM, a GTX 1650 for graphics, a 4K touch display. So it seems like a pretty capable laptop. I know the Dell XPS ones are very popular. Popular or popular. And then into the peripherals, we have a drop control keyboard. Got some blue and white keycaps from OneCap. Inside has got Kale Navy switches. Got the new Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. And an Xbox One controller there is like a secondary peripheral. And then mounted underneath his desk for audio, digging this, with the Bear Dynamic DT770 headphones, plugged in and powered by the Motu M2. So 100%, Brian F, going with the cozy vibes. I'm really liking it. I didn't even get to mention the speakers now that I'm seeing them in this last shot. They're the audio engine A2 Plus on each side of the desk. But yes, he mentioned in his submission email, it's his cozy battle station, and that checks out. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 225 of Room Tour Project. Hope you all enjoyed. And don't forget, if you saw anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. Plus some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you want to be possibly considered being a future episode of Room Tour Project. Check the description down below for it all. But if you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.